Humankind's relationship with chocolate has been thousands of years in the making. We've always found chocolate decadent. It has over 300 compounds. So it's healing, soothing, intoxicating. Over 70% of the world's cocoa comes from West Africa, the rest from Latin America and Asia. But our love of chocolate has incentivized deforestation. And when I talk to the largest chocolate companies in the world, many express a fear they won't be able to meet rising global demand. At California Culture, we make chocolate from cocoa cells grown in bioreactors. We'll have one cell line high in rich cocoa flavanols and a second line high in cocoa butter. My co-founder has scaled plant cells in bioreactors to 20,000 liters previously in multiple plant species. For California cultured chocolate, it'll take us approximately two to three years to get there. The magic, just like everything else cell-based, is in the media. Because we're making food, we can't use synthetic chemical growth stimulants like 2,4-D or IAA. We discover the combination of natural plant hormones, and not only do they work, they work two times better than synthetic stimulants. So our go-to market, our early revenue, will be in rare, intense flavanols, which the cells naturally make, which will purify into an extract for $200 a gram. We have a corporate partner on this from Japan, which has a refined passion for the exotic and rare compounds in cocoa varieties. In chocolate, the premium and super premium categories have exploded. Chocolate reflects its terroir, absorbing compounds from its soil. We're engineering this terroir right here in our lab in Davis, California. And we're going to take chocolate to a new level of sustainability, a new level of ethics, and a new level of flavor. This right here is our very first bar. And I want to dedicate it to our kids, our team, and to our planet.